Are you feeling stuck or unfulfilled in your current life? Do you want to make meaningful changes, but don't know where to start? Today, we're sharing five practical philosophies to adopt for personal growth. By adopting these transformative principles, you can cultivate a deeper sense of purpose, resilience, and inner peace. Welcome to Moving Up Wealthy, your partner in the journey towards wealth and success. 1. Memento Mori Our first philosophy is Memento Mori, a Latin phrase meaning remember that you will die. By meditating on our own mortality, we can develop a sense of urgency and appreciation for life. We're reminded that life is fleeting, so we should make the most of every moment and not waste time on things that don't matter. Memento Mori reminds us that life is precious and limited, so we should prioritize what truly matters. By regularly reminding ourselves of our own mortality, we can gain perspective on our daily stresses and challenges. Meditating on our mortality can help us live more humbly. With less ego or pride, it forces us to focus on self-improvement rather than worrying about what others think of us. Try asking yourself, what would happen if I died tomorrow, and use this perspective to guide your actions. Memento Mori can also help us appreciate the present moment and live more mindfully. When we're reminded of our own mortality, we're encouraged to savor the small joys in life, such as spending time with loved ones, pursuing our passions, or simply being present in the moment. This philosophy can also inspire us to take action towards our goals and dreams, as we realize that time is limited and we don't want to waste it on regrets or missed opportunities. 2. Amor Fati The next philosophy is Amor Fati, which means love your fate. This attitude of acceptance toward one's fate encourages us to embrace the choices we've made, as well as those that will come in the future. Embracing Amor Fati doesn't mean we should passively accept everything that happens to us. Instead, it's about finding meaning and purpose in every situation, both good and bad. By doing so, we can develop resilience and face life's challenges with courage and wisdom. The key here is to accept what is out of your control and focus on what matters most, ourselves and those we love. By adopting this mindset, we can reduce stress and concentrate on what we can change for the better. Another key aspect of Amor Fati is to learn how to let go of our attachments to specific outcomes. We often have preconceived notions of how our lives should unfold, and when things don't go according to plan, we may feel frustrated or defeated. Instead, embrace the uncertainty and unpredictability of life as an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. 3. Premeditation Malorum the third philosophy is premeditation malorum, or the premeditation of evils. This stoic exercise involves thinking through all the things that could go wrong in order to prepare ourselves for the worst case scenario. This can help build resilience and reduce anxiety by allowing us to plan for potential issues. It's important to remember that while we can't control everything in life, we can control our mindset and how we react to challenges. Premeditation malorum can be a powerful way to build mental fortitude and develop a proactive approach to problem solving. By imagining potential obstacles and setbacks, you can create contingency plans and strategies to overcome them. One way to practice premeditation malorum is to engage in a reflective exercise called negative visualization. This involves taking a few moments each day to envision potential difficulties or losses we might face in various aspects of our lives, such as our health, relationships or careers. By doing so, we can build emotional resilience and develop a greater appreciation for the things we currently have. 4. Dichotomy of Control Our fourth philosophy is the dichotomy of control, which teaches us that we can control some things, but not others. Understanding this concept can help us focus on what we can actually influence and let go of what we cannot. Remember, it's how you react to situations that truly matters not the situations themselves. By embracing this philosophy, you can better navigate the ups and downs of life. When applying the dichotomy of control, it's essential to focus our energy on aspects of life that we can influence, such as our attitudes, emotions, and actions. In contrast, we must learn to accept external circumstances that are beyond our reach, like the actions of others, natural disasters, or global events. By doing this, we can reduce unnecessary stress and anxiety and foster a sense of inner peace and contentment. 5. Who looks outside, dreams. Who looks inside, awakes. Our final philosophy is the idea that who looks outside, dreams. Who looks inside, awakes. 
This concept encourages self-reflection and introspection to gain insight into our true selves and how to improve. Take the time to examine your feelings and emotions and ask yourself why they affect you the way they do. By understanding the root of these feelings, you can learn how to avoid repeating mistakes and cultivate personal growth. To practice this philosophy, take the time to examine your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Consider what motivates you, what brings you joy, and what holds you back. By developing a deeper understanding of yourself, you can identify patterns and behaviors that may be hindering your personal growth. The bottom line. These five practical philosophies can help guide you on your journey towards personal growth. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to apply these principles. It's all about finding what works best for you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button to join our amazing community and click the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we post new content. Don't forget to like, comment, and share for more great content. Visit our website at movingupwealthy.com and check out our suggested videos. We'll see you in the next video.